Because I have chlorine here. Would it work if I just looped the pipes down here to kill the germs? Or not? Loop the water into the reservoirs. It takes a bit. Okay. I gotcha. Alright, we're going to leave it like this for the time being then. I think that's a bit beyond me at the moment. And we're not generating enough chlorine at the moment. Where is my chlorine even going? How do I go? No. Um, no, no. Where's the gas? Oh my god. Alright, no. Just talk amongst yourselves as I try and find the one I want. What is this pump doing? What have I done? I just haven't connected it, have I? Wait, what? Oh, it, no, it's because it's not working. Because there's no chlorine there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I used a germ sensor as well. Like a manual valve shut off so it loops back. No, they can live with germy water now. But enough of their attitude. Because then we got the problem. Because we've got all this hot water over here. There's not really much we can do with it at the moment. And if someone tells me to pipe it round here and throw in a table. Because when I suggested that, you all said no. The worst thing that happens, they got sick. They're already sick, so it doesn't matter. They're already sick. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're already sick, right? <laughs> they're already all sick. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, I'm getting bubbles. Name in the chat. What are we naming bubbles? It would work, but it wouldn't be ideal. It's not either. The system at the moment isn't ideal. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real with you for a second. <laughs> like, when you walk around with, like, Ebola just in the air, it doesn't matter if you drink Ebola as well. There we go. Eclair. <laughs> I like that one, actually. I want a dupe named after you. No, because I know what happens to people that are in my colonies. So we can laugh when you eventually kill it. <laughs> oh, we like that, don't we? Okay, fine. Fine. Oi, you get back to work. Tazastical, and what... I would like to have you know there is a colonist that has never died in any of my colonies. And that's the myth, the legend that is Parkins. Yeah, she's still alive. It counts. Definitely counts. Right, I need to get this up. Right. Talk to me about suits. Research. So have we, I think we've got everything. Exo. Because then, uh, then I'm going to build this, and someone's going to go. We need plastic, and we don't have plastic. So if this says we need plastic, I'm going to absolutely throw something. Right. So this is the suit stuff that we need. Stop saying I need. F okay. Okay, chat. Okay, you broke me. You broke me. Let's do this. So, how many reads should I get? I have only one of my OG dupes still. The other two were the only deaths so far. I've only had two deaths so far as well. <laughs> what do you mean so far this stream? Uh, 
Oh no, what are you doing? Put roots. So what's gonna happen? Well... Reed, a fumbelina. There's more to come. How dare you. We're getting suits up. We're fine. Miss Tazastical, shouldn't you be working? Ain't you got a dish to wash? <laughs> nah, that's probably living life on the edge. No liquid intake. You're speaking like tiny riddles. Like... So just a liquid pump pit like this is just like feels like extra steps. Now I'll just talk to her about this game and she'll she'll say it. just do anything. Not underwater. Oh just tell me you told me to do it like this. Help me so someone reads talk to me. How many reeds? How many reeds? Where do I put them? You plant them in the air. Okay, fine. I'll plant them in the air then. There we go. All the reeds, chat. All the reeds. I don't think... Like, we're not even in here that long and I'm already having a breakdown. <laughs> space farming. <laughs> Some good old space farming, boys. Oh, that was meant to be a cowboy accent. I've embarrassed myself. Hmm. I can't do like a Texas accent. Giddy up, partner. I don't know what that sounds like. Have I... I don't say I've killed the two people I actually build. No, other people build. They're just choosing not to. Ha <laughs> ha lovely. It's because it's unreachable, you turd. <laughs> don't, this game. The worst part of this game is people talk to me like I have any idea what's going on with anything. Everything just semi-works, so it's fine. Apart from the germs. Hey, 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 they're going down. Mm, they're spreading and thinning out, but it counts. Um, I'm going to put some more of these around. Round and round. Why would it not be in... Does anyone else think that some stuff sh that is under some stuff, I suppose it's under oxygen, that some stuff is just not where I feel like it should be. It feels really weird. Oh god. Welcome to Spaghetti Junk. Oh no, no, I can just connect it to that one, that's fine. Just delete mesh tile on top of ladder. Dying. Suffocating. I'm not sure what to do with, like... Pigeon. Squirrel. You can all chuck words about. I know lots of words. Oh, yeah. I was meant to just keep researching. Keep researching. Oh, I got a bit of energy drink. Enjoy your coffee. Uh, 
I'm just seeing whatever's here and then I'm just going through and just like researching tons of stuff. Because I find like before I was just like doing like a couple of bits at a time. And then when I need it, realizing like I don't have anything. So I think the plan is, especially while I'm learning, just research all the stuff. And then I have all the stuff. Right, let's go. So how many reads do I need, chat? You wanted to see... Was it read or fiber? Read fiber, 30 units. I need six. Because I'm basically setting you up to fail, chat, because I'm going to put six and all my polluted water's going to go and then we're dead. So, hope you're happy with yourselves. you got loads already. Okay. I don't know where this loads already. This is going to go immediately. What? Three, four, five, six. Um, this is a really, oh no, I can attach it to there, can't I, here, yeah, because I go liquid pipe off that one. And then I'll just put them all there for the moment. Chat's nervous now. Now it went from plant six to plant two. La 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 la. Mop that. So am I planting six or am I planting two? Meanwhile, I'm just watching. <laughs> How long until this turns on? Six should be fine. Fiber is nice to have. You have plenty of fiber already for suits. Then why am I making more fiber? I feel like I need... All right. I feel like I'm going to go rogue. I don't know what that means, but... Right. So what do I need to make this? So forges... There we go. So Forges makes it. This is going to be easy. This is going to be the easiest thing I've done on RimWorld. On RimWorld? What am I playing? What are we doing? Um, I'll just chuck it here for the... Oh, God's sake. Everything must have massive rooms. I need this up, because we're going to run out of war. I need all the stun. Could probably lower that pump, in all honesty. I'd rather not, I'm lazy. Have I not got a wire to this? Of course not. Why would I? That'd be easy. That'd help me. <laughs> Come on. I'm better than this. Alright, so we went from needing these to not needing these. Um, right. Stations, exosuit forge. Chuck it there. Right, let's get the wire. What? Oh, is that connected? That shouldn't be connected, but I don't know which way it shouldn't be connected. No, I think that's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about the flashing colors. The flashing colors mean good things. It means I'm doing really well with my wiring. It's like, 
Yellow is a calming colour, so it's always like, calm down, it's all cool. Right, so this is Wacom. Why am I coming up? Okay, so we got 18 cy cycles before this kicks in. And then at least then that's water going to be sorted for a very, very long time. I'm half debating to deconstruct a load of this, like at least half of it. And I need to get rid of these critters. I order everyone to attack them. Free is too much. Right. Forge to make suits. So no, one thing at a time. Supplies uh, duplicates. With oxygen in toxic and low breathable environments. Copper. Okay, pause. So I need two units. I had like 30, didn't I? And I need copper. So like... How many of these do I make then? Do I just like two? Why is that... How many do you normally make of these suits? Three or four? Okay. Four. So, copper. We haven't got many, so I'll get that on here. I'll do like five, so we have some left over. Six. If I have to do more, that's fine. So then that's making the suits, then we can go out. So, then I need a checkpoint at the exit to your base. Okay, so I'm assuming... Oxygen mask marks a threshold. Need a checkpoint. That is the only checkpoint thing there. So it marks a threshold where duplicates must put on or take off an oxygen mask. Okay, so I need to put that there with suits next to it. Oh, okay. Atom suit chest point. You just said mask. Or no, you just said checkpoint. So I need this. Okay, let me just go to... So, I can't breathe or I need this suit for here, okay? Am I still doing the checkpoint here or should i do it vastly closer because i could make like a little room here or something when that would probably be a little bit better wouldn't it like if i made a little brick room here and fixed it up because they can breathe all here i don't want to waste their time like You have one exit to your base. And they have to go through. Block all other exits. I don't want... Dropped an update. That updated the UI and a few other things. I like it. You don't... I don't understand what you mean by you have one exit to your base. Alright, let's wing up. Because I just literally want it for when they go here. I can't block all the exits to my base. So the checkpoint there, one exit, suit checkpoint. Do I need anything else? What's the dock? And refuels them. Must be built next to a dock. Define next to. 
You make it so your dupes can't leave the base without going through a checkpoint. Well, I can't do that. I don't... Alright, I'm just going to wing it. Right, let's go... Stations, dock. It's next to the dock. And then does that need anything or is that Gucci? Must be built to the checkpoint. Okay. You need to wall off your entire base. Are you joking? Because that's really dumb. How am I meant to wall off this madness? Are you joking? I have to wall off my entire base to get that to work. That can't be right. That's... I'm pretty sure you're the same person defending caravans on RimWorld. But what I'm saying is, like... That's really dumb. So is the whole idea, like, every time they go outside the base, they're meant to put this on? Because I don't really know how I'm... Oh, so I'm going to have to... Sp that's, that's a bit... I don't like that. That's really dumb. Because now I'm going to have to deconstruct... All the doors to put in walls. To then put another path around my base just so they go through the checkpoint. So then they go out with a suit. Okay. I mean, that's something that's like key information that you should probably know at the beginning. Because that's... I think that's really dumb. Like, that... Right. It's going to mess up all my gas and everything. Um, I'm going to have to put a thing there. I mean, if I've got to keep them locked, then I might as well not have them. What's the point of having them if I just keep them locked? Are you stuck? I mean, at this point, I'm just trying to find something that works, like... I don't like this. This is a bit silly. Um, okay, so I'm going to need to dig. Okay, so then they can get around here. I'm going to need to... Um, I'm just going to have to ignore that for the time being. Having power problems every now and then. No, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying that I think that system is really dumb. Because now I've... Yeah, but if I'd have known that, then I wouldn't have built the base like I've done because it's so open. Now it's just weird. 
if I'd have known that from the start, it sort of forces you to make small bases. Because I know I can have more than one checkpoints, but... Yeah, okay. Um... Unless you're going to tell me how to fix it, then that doesn't help. Right. Um, I hate that wire's up there. All right, I'll take two second break. What do you mean three people died? I went for like two minutes! I was so ten seconds away! <sighs> I was like ten seconds away and the colony dies. Oh no! No, that's that go! Oh, because <laughs> they built the wall there. <laughs> right, chat, executive decision. Do we carry on with this colony or do we move on? I'll be honest, I think the base layout has just like done me in. If you want me to continue, we'll continue. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'll add you to my colony. Oh no. I was gone for 10 seconds. Ugh. Why did I leave it? <laughs> I was literally gone for 10 seconds. <sighs> and try fix. Now, so my. So let's have a little review. Okay, let's have a review of this save and what worked well and what didn't. So. The hydroponic farm I love with the fertilizer. Let me finish the sentence. Super quick, tons of food. This early on, it's not needed whatsoever. It produces too much food, too much waste. Two rows of these would have been absolutely fine. But before I think about hydroponics, I need to get water sorted. Because then this problem happens where we're rushing to sort of get the water sorted. So we can all agree on that. Oh, yeah. Now I die, the pollution starts to get sorted, doesn't it? That actually angers me. I actually just want to, like, slap my head a little bit. So, the pollution sorted, I actually think, is a problem we can sort from the start by just walling ourselves in and making sure we've maybe... So, if we start again... So, basically, we're talking about the new start. We will do it tonight, don't worry. I want to keep really compact... And I think about walling ourselves in, getting ready from the start so I know where the suits are going to go, walling ourselves in, and then putting these there just to get ready 
And then obviously, once we... Because now I know to look out for the bleach. I didn't know to look out for the bleach. And then that's going to keep us. I feel like small. However, is it worth from the start building in a tunnel formation? Why? Why would you want to do that, Tazzle? Because we know how the oxygen's going to go. Like, we're going to naturally have the pit. So this is my thinking. This is my thinking. We're going to start obviously with our thing we're going to make a room like this we'll have the bedroom right above it below we'll have the cook thing and we're going to keep everything like this mm, should probably have one i think if you saw my base you'd cry you'd want to burn it with fire yeah i believe building in a tall rectangle is the easiest way to do this because then the gases are the most uh, are more predictable because it's a like, does that make sense? Or do people think I'm an idiot? Because like this, the gases are being able to spread out wherever. Where in a tunnel, we know what the layers are going to be like, and then we would be able to address it. We know the oxygen is going to go to the top. Where we'll have whatever. And we know at the bottom is going to sink, is going to be our carbon dioxide pit. Three wide shaft in the middle with rooms off both sides. Yeah, but then that would make the so that would make the bedroom smaller though. You're suggesting two towers like this. So this would be a tower and then this would be a tower and then a middle in between. Oh no, I I understand what you're saying. No, no, I understand what you're saying. Rooms will be as long as a lawn. Mm. What, 96 tiles every room? So we would have this room, that, and then a room there, actually, and just one shaft down the middle. I like it. Right. Up to that at a maximum. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better system. So, other things to review. The reservoir system. While it was fun, we only need one reservoir. The two reservoirs just made an extra complication onto a system that didn't need to be extra complicated. So, when we start... So, we're going to have two rooms like this, 96 or whatever it's going to be. And then we're going to have a big water reservoir... I think, yes, yes, I totally agree, chat. We'll have one polluted, one under, you know, the, sec the this row over here. And then we'll have the fresh water over here. Straight from the start. Polluted outside the base. With an airlock to it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're basically... We're now going over the plans of the next save. So we would have 96, 96. The middle is where we're going. And then... With an airlock to it. Agree. So then we would have a big reservoir in the base. And then maybe over here we would have our polluted one. I feel good about that. The lavatory system. Let's talk about the lavatory system. I like the lavatory system. It's a nice setup. But if we're having the water and the polluted water, why would we not just attack the, attach the pipes? Because there is a limit with this system to how many people we can have. Like, is this the perfect system, or is it worth just attaching this to the reservoirs? Is more the question. Where's the... 
Because while it's self... Mm, I don't know. I suppose that's not something. Right. Closed loop. Necessary. Yeah, but no, this has been germ infested. Uh, sorry, polluted though. Hydrogen. Closed loop. Necessary, as germs will go into your reservoir. Why would they? If all the dirty water is going into the dirty reservoir, why would the germs... You want recycled piss in your reservoir. You're not listening. The clean water would go in and this would pump out to there. So how would the piss go into my water? You need to explain because I don't know. That's why I'm asking. And I don't really care. It'd be cleaned. You would lose loads of fresh water. Perfect. That That's the question I want. So it's, it's not cost efficient to do that. That's fine. So we'll close that off again like that. Same system. Alright, let me have a look at this. Can I screenshot this? I might just take a picture of my phone because this will give... I don't think we're going to get to the point. Now, chat. The thing that you do have to think about is what sort... So we're doing the DLC. That's for sure because I think actually that will give me a little bit more of a goal. Now I've played and I know what we need to go for, I think this is going to give me a nice little... Get out of that. What sort of map do we want? So think about all the settings that you want to see on the new save. And then we're going to do this.